This new feature tutorial video will teach you how to apply dirt map to materials. In Fuser, we have many realistic settings in our material library to enhance the look of materials. So first objective is to apply the dirt map to the road and grass, second is to apply it to the cement, and third is to apply it to the mud. So for the first objective, let's add a dirt map to the road and grass. First step, click on the road. Then under Element Properties, click the Render Material. Here in Material Library, scroll down. Then click Apply Dirt. Then for Dirty Map Type, we have Rust, Dirt, Mud, Grime, and Asphalt. So let's pick Asphalt. Then to remove the repetitive texture, enable Tiling Mitigation. Then the blend is the transparency of the dirt map, so let's reduce it. Then scroll up, click OK. Then for the grass, click on the grass. Click the render material under Element Properties. Then scroll down again. Apply dirt. Then let's pick mud. Enable tiling mitigation and then decrease the blend. Lastly, scroll up, then click OK. For the second objective, let's add dirt map to the cement. So first, click on the cement, then under Element Properties, click the Render Material. Here in Material Library, scroll down, then click Apply Dirt. For here, let's pick Dirt, then enable Tiling Mitigation. Then increase the blend. Lastly, scroll up, then click OK. Then for the last objective, let's add a dirt map to the mud. First step, click on the mud. Then under Element Properties, click the Render Material Fuser Dirt. Then here in Material Library, scroll down. So enable Apply Dirt. Then for Dirty Map Type, pick Mud. Then enable tiling mitigation. Then increase the blend. Then lastly, scroll up, then click OK. So those are three scenarios you can add a dirt map to materials. Thank you for watching the video.